What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to look at exercises for distal biceps tendon pain. This is pain that you would have down here towards the front of your elbow where your bicep muscle attaches. So if you've got pain there, maybe when throwing, doing exercises for your biceps, stay tuned for today's exercises. Before getting into today's exercises, I just want to mention that my book is out. It's available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. It's almost 500 pages in length and it covers the 50 most common orthopedic conditions. It has three phase programs for all these conditions with pictures of me doing the exercises and instructions. So for instance, if we're talking about biceps tendinopathy, if we go over into the shoulder chapter in this case, we'll find a biceps tendinopathy program. All the programs, like I said, are going to have um, are going to describe the condition here, and then they will have three phases. So this is just one page from the program, but again, it will show pictures of me doing the exercises and have instructions for each each exercise. So if you'd like to have a book on hand at home that covers the 50 most common problems we see in physical therapy, I will put the links down in the description for the book. All right, so when we're looking at a tendon pain issue like this bicep tendon, we're going to use resistance training exercises, basically strength training exercises to help desensitize the tendon and improve its function. This might seem counterintuitive. You're like, this hurt, my tendon hurts when I use it. Why would you make me do strengthening exercises and put more stress on it? We have a lot of research on tendon pain showing that re gradual resistance training has the best evidence in terms of, again, desensitizing the tendon, taking away pain and making it stronger. So we want to do this in kind of a progression. We're going to go from isometrics to eccentrics to full range contractions. And in this video, I'm really going to show you two exercises that are most useful for this issue. So for the first one here, you're going to take a dumbbell. You want a weight that's heavy enough that it's challenging and it's okay if it creates kind of mild to moderate discomfort. If you're in that range, it means you're stressing the tendon appropriately. So what I did here is I took my weight bench here and I put it on an incline setting, you're gonna place your arm, this is called a preacher curl, so it's gonna stabilize my arm so I'm making sure I'm only using my bicep muscle. Now, if your tendon is really painful right now, then you're gonna start with an isometric. So for this one, I'm gonna position my arm right around 90 degrees, I'm gonna take my other arm and pass the dumbbell, and then I'm gonna hold it right there. So I'm not moving, an isometric means I'm contracting, but there's no movement. So with isometrics, you'll do this every day, you would do four to five repetitions of this and each one you're gonna hold for 30 to 45 seconds. So it's a long static hold that you do every day, four to five reps. Isometrics are best in kind of the first two weeks when the tendon's really irritated, they can really help take pain away. Okay, so that's the first step in isometric contraction. The second step in our progression here will be eccentric contractions. So these are contractions where the muscle is lengthening and contracting. It's basically only the down phase of our preacher curl. So what we're gonna do here is start up high, place the dumbbell there, and then slowly lower it over about three to five seconds with our painful arm. Okay, so our muscles are strongest eccentrically, so you're gonna go all the way down. When you get to the bottom, you can pass it back to your other arm, reset, pass the weight back, and then slowly go down. Eccentrics have been studied a lot in the Achilles tendon and in the patellar tendon on the front of the knee, and we use this same kind of model when treating other tendons. So with this one, you're gonna do three sets of 15 reps every day. And this is the second step. So you're basically letting, you're letting pain be your guide. So when you can do this pretty easily and pain isn't a significant factor anymore, then you'll progress to the last step where we basically just do a full range contraction. So the last step here is just a full range, slow, uh, preacher curl. So you're going to start up at the top like we did before, do the eccentric, go all the way through full range of motion, nice and slow in the eccentric, and then back up through the concentric. So basically with the regular exercise, we're just adding the concentric portion of the exercise. The way up, the concentric is where people usually have the most pain. So that's why this comes at the end. So again, think about going really slow in the eccentric, three to five seconds, and then you can go a little faster in the concentric. Usually that's more of like a two to three second contraction. So for this one, it's kind of like the eccentrics, you're gonna shoot for three sets of somewhere in the eight to 15 repetition range. Just make sure you go to the point where you feel like you get tired. You know, if you can do 15 reps easily and you don't feel tired at all, then you probably need to bump your weight up a little bit. So it's nice and slow like that. 
And that is gonna be our first exercise. So it's a preacher curl, but then just finding where you're at in that progression, isometric, eccentric, or concentric, based on your symptoms. Our last exercise here is resisted supination. Our bicep muscle is a powerful supinator. So besides bending our arm, it also turns our forearm over so that our palm faces up. So that's called supination. That's why we do bicep curls with our palm forward in a supinated position. So for this exercise, we're gonna take a loop band. I'll put a link down in the description for this. You can get a set of them. They vary, uh, the color determines the resistance. So you'll again find the right level. You're gonna wrap it around your hand. And then what you're gonna do is twist into supination. So your form stabilized on the bench or on a flat surface like this. And then you're gonna pull into supination and then back really slowly. So on this exercise, the concentric portion is when you're turning the palm flat. So you're gonna go two to three seconds there. The eccentric is on the way back. So I'm gonna go really slow on the eccentric and then back through the full movement again. So this, like the last exercise, we're gonna go for three sets of eight to 15 repetitions. This one you can usually do right from the get-go when you're having the problem. So say you're doing the isometric of the preacher curl, you probably could also do this resisted supination. Again though, just to, you know, decide that based on how severe your pain is. If your, pain's, if your pain goes above mild with this exercise, then you might need to wait a few weeks before you add it in. Okay, so those are our two exercises that really work best for distal biceps tendinopathy. We basically have a preacher curl and then resisted supination with the band. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I will try to get back to you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.